Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at converting a thick provision virtual disk to thin provision. To get started, navigate to the ESXi web UI and log in. Click the Actions drop-down, then scroll down to Services and make sure the SSH service is enabled. Next, navigate to Virtual Machines and select the virtual machine that has a thick provision virtual disk. In the Hardware Configuration area, copy the path to the VMDK file and paste it in the notepad to be used later. Now click the link for the VMDK file and copy the full location path to the data store and paste it in the notepad. We've now collected all the data we need from the web UI, so connect to the ESXi host via SSH. Using the CD command, we'll change directory to the location path of the data store. Next, we'll use the VMKFS tools command to create a clone of the thick provisioned disk, cloning it to a thin provisioned. Now navigate back to the ESXi web UI and select the VM. Expanding the hard disk under hardware configuration, we can see that it's not currently thin provisioned. Using the move command, we'll make a backup of the thick provisioned VMDK file, adding .thick to the file name. Then we'll rename our thin provisioned clone back to the original VMDK file name. Back in the ESXi web UI, navigate to Virtual Machines, then right-click on the VM and select Unregister. Next, select Create Register VM, then select Register an Existing Virtual Machine and click Next. Click the button at the top to select one or more virtual machines, then browse to and select the VMX file for the VM we just unregistered. Click Next and then Finish to re-import the VM. Now if we select the virtual machine and expand the hard disk under Hardware Configuration, we'll find that the thin provision disk is now being utilized. Scroll to the top and power on the VM and verify that it boots as expected. Once you've fully tested the virtual machine boots and is working, you can free the additional storage space being used by the thick provision disk by deleting the .thick VMDK backup. 